Hello children, welcome to the online edu class session for class 6 chapter number 11 light shadow and reflection part 2. Today in this video we will first discuss about the pinhole camera. You might be surprised what is it? What is this pinhole camera and what is this black box? And also you might think that we need a lot of stuff and efforts to make a camera. Not really. If we just wish to make a simple pinhole camera, it's so easy. What you need is just two boxes of cardboard such that one can slide into another without any gap in between. Cut open one side of each box. On the opposite face of the larger box, make a small hole in the middle. In the smaller box, cut out from the middle a small square with a side of about 5 to 6 cm. Cover this open square in the box with a tracing paper, which should be translucent. Slide the smaller box inside the larger one with the hole in such a way that the side with the tracing paper is inside. Now your pinhole camera is ready. There is one more process of making pinhole camera for which again you need a cardboard, tape, foil, scissors, pen, paper, small pin and a dark fabric. By using all this stuff you can just follow the steps to make this camera and you can create your own. The, I have told you two processes. Now explore any one of them and just get the magic. Holding the pinhole camera, look through the open face of the smaller box. You should use a piece of black cloth also that I have told to cover your head for a better vision. Now try out looking at some distant objects like tree or a building through the pinhole camera. Make sure that the object you wish to look at through your pinhole camera are in a bright sunshine. Move the smaller box forward and backward to get a clear picture that is called focusing. You have to focus the image on your screen and then you will get a clear picture. Right now the pictures seen in the camera show the colors of the objects on the other side. And the images are inverted. By seeing through a pinhole camera, you will always get an inverted image of an object which you are seeing through the pinhole camera. Okay, now let's image the sun through your pinhole camera. For that, you need a little uh, change setup for which you just need a large sheet of cardboard with pinhole in the middle. Hold the sheet up in the sun and let its shadow fall on the clear area. You will see a small circular image of the sun in the middle of the shadow of the cardboard sheet. Okay, Look at these pinhole images of the sun when an eclipse is visible from your location. You will notice a part of image of sun gradually becomes darker as the eclipse starts. Take care, never ever look directly at the sun. This could be extremely harmful to your eyes. There are interesting pinhole cameras in nature. Sometimes when we pass under a tree covered with large number of leaves, we notice a small patches of sunlight under it. These circular images are actually pinhole images of the sun. The gaps between the leaves act as pinholes. These gaps are all the kind of irregular shapes, but we can see circular images of the sun. So children, a pinhole camera is something which consists of light proof box, thin film for a screen and a small aperture to allow the passage of light rays. Also, the light from outside enters through the small hole and forms an image which is inverted in nature, right? By this, we can say that the formation of shadows and pinhole images are possible only if the light moves in a straight line path. 
let's confirm it by using a piece of pipe or a long rubber tube and light a candle and fix it on the table at one end of the room try watching that light source through the pipe you will find that the light of the candle is visible through the straight line pipe but if the pipe is is bent in nature then you won't be able to see the candle or the light this proves that the light is always traveling in a straight line path isn't it that is why when opaque objects obstruct the path a shadow is formed we all use mirrors at our home you like look into the mirror and see your own face inside the mirror the thing you are seeing inside the mirror is the image that is called the image and it is actually the reflection of your face inside the mirror we also see reflection of other objects that are in front of mirror sometimes we see reflection of trees buildings and other objects in water also of of any pond lake etc as the surface of pond or lake are acting as mirrors a mirror is actually a surface usually consisting of a glass that reflects light incident on it or to form clear erect images also the im- light rays incident on a surface gets reflected and it bounces back towards us and therefore we are able to see the image any surface that is really well polished or shiny can act as a mirror this phenomena of light bouncing off the surfaces is known as reflection of light at this point it becomes very important to understand that the light always travels in a straight line path and gets reflected from the mirror also in completely a straight line path the light never travels in a or curved path thus image formed by the mirrors gives us information about color and size of an object shape of an object and size is always same for an image of a stationary object and thus mirror reflection always gives us clear images of the object reflecting inside children sometimes when we look into the mirror have you ever observed that our right hand feels towards left and left hand feels towards right a plain mirror reflects light regularly so it produces a clear image of the same object right now if the image appears of same size and at the same distance as the object so why it is turning left or right that is because when an object is reflected in a plain mirror left appears as right and right appears towards left so this process is actually known as lateral inversion there are so many alphabets also which are following this lateral inversion right so keep observing those uh, alphabets and here i am showing you picture also for those uh, observations right now one more observation children see the size of shadow when it is in the morning and when it is turning afternoon it is getting shorter and shorter so the image of any object is longest during the morning and evening and it is shorter in the afternoon so children this is all about today's video keep learning keep exploring more and we will meet again in the next video till then thank you